As you create an Illustrator, you may find you need to align a series of icons on a web design, for instance, or to ensure a headline is in the center of a design. In this video, you'll learn about the different ways to align content. If you'd like to follow along, open this document from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. So that you can see all of the content in the file, choose View, Fit All in Window. With the Selection tool selected in the Tools panel on the left, in the poster on the left, click to select the text in the center. Then to select more text, shift click the text to the right and the fox text to the left to add them to the selection as well. Shift clicking is a precise way to select multiple objects and can be useful when there are a lot of objects in the same area as the artwork you want to select. In the properties panel to the right of the document, you'll see a series of alignment options. Click the align to button and make sure Align to Selection is chosen. This means selected objects will align to each other. Click the Vertical Align Top option to align the objects to the top edge of the topmost object, which is the text in the center here. Now click the headline at the top of the poster on the left. This text needs to be centered horizontally on the poster. To do that, you can align this content to the artboard rather than to other content. Don't forget that artboards in Illustrator are similar to pages in Microsoft Word or Adobe InDesign, and the active artboard is defined by this black line around the edge. You'll use the Align panel to align this content. Choose Window, Align to open the panel. Click the Panel menu up in the corner and choose Show Options to see more in the panel. Then, click the Align to Selection button at the bottom of the panel and choose Align to Artboard. Now any content you align will be relative to the artboard. Click the Horizontal Align Center button to align the text to the horizontal center of the artboard. Then click the X at the top of the panel group to close it. Looking at the design on the right, the text that starts with Fun Fact needs to be aligned with the text down here. Unfortunately, if you try to align these two text objects by their top edges, the lower text object will move up to align to the topmost text object, this one. Since the text here is already where it needs to be, the fun fact text needs to be aligned to that text. To do that, you can align to a key object it's called. Click the fun fact text, then shift click the text here. Release the shift key. Click this text again and you'll see it has a blue highlight around it. That means it's the key object or the object that every other selected object will align to. In the Properties panel on the right, click the Vertical Align Top button to align the text. The key object doesn't move, as you saw in this case. Click in a blank area away from the artwork to see the final poster designs. Now you know how to align content to each other, to the artboard, and to a key object in Illustrator. The next time you need to align an image to the top of the artboard or align a few buttons together, you can use the alignment methods you learned here. Save a copy of this file by choosing File, Save As, and rename it, that way you preserve the original. 